Hey, Grand Rising Gods, Goddesses, Kings, Queens, what's going on, on my YouTubers? Um, yes, I did not post a video on Friday. I was under the weather. I needed to rest, but I'm back. I have already set with my team. I'm ready to bring you the word of the day. Spirit is saying if you start seeing a lot of spiders, especially black spiders, um, that's a message from the underworld. Whatever you do, don't kill them. Um, try to put them in like a little water bottle and put them outside if you don't mind. They said don't kill them. It's a message from the underworld because remember the veil is getting thin. What messages do you have for the overall energy for September 19th, 2020? Spirit is saying a lot of y'all going to be hearing the sound of a uh, owl. Like who, 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 or whatever the sound they make, or you might see them. That is um, your one of your ancient ancestors. Remember, I said the veil is going to be walking thin, walking thin. It's going to be getting thin, and they're going to be walking upon the earth. So you're going to see a lot of like spiders. You're going to be seeing a lot of crows. That's a message from the underworld. You're going to be seeing owls. Owls is um as Ancient ancestors, sometimes they manifest as birds. Sometimes that's your spiritual animal. That means wisdom and knowledge. Also, that means to connect with your moon, your intuition, uh, do um, shadow work. I'm hearing some of y'all are, like I said, y'all no longer, y'all graduated from your, your ancestors. Now y'all dealing with your spiritual ancestors and your ancient ancestors. And then a lot of y'all are connecting to your spiritual ancestors. So y'all close to self mastery because y'all putting in the work and everything. Um, on October 30th, 31st, especially on the 31st at exactly 3.33 in the morning, this is when the ancients and the master healers and everything is going to walk upon the earth. A lot of y'all might be seeing dragonflies. Um, this is an ancient dragonfly saying that your ancestors are coming. So start paying attention to animals because that's a sign that they close to you. Start paying attention to your dreams. Start paying attention to a lot of things because y'all going to be dreaming weird dreams. If y'all haven't already started, it's getting ready to start heavily. It's getting ready to start heavenly. Spirit is saying some of y'all really, really, really need to change y'all diet. Y'all eating too much red meat. Spirit is saying try to detox from red meat. Anything from a cow because your body is not um, processing it properly. You're wondering why your sinuses are fucking up. You're wondering why you're so congested, a lot of mucus. You're wondering why you're bloated in your stomach and everything like that. It's because you need to leave the cow alone. People that say, well, I don't eat cow. Well, you eat cheese, cheese is dairy. Anything related to the cow spirit is saying you need to leave it alone. I'm hearing someone needs to detox for the next two weeks because your ancestors, all three, spiritual, ancient, and your ancestors are trying to get in touch with you. It's time for y'all to walk it like y'all talking, I'm hearing. What messages do you have for the overall energy? This is going to be a fresh start with some, whoever um, saying this message is going for as far as detoxes in the next two weeks. This is going to be a fresh start with you. It's going to be on your spiritual journey. A lot of y'all need to stop saying what y'all can't do. Y'all speaking bad juju over you. Spirit is saying, no, stop. Just say, I can't do it yet. I'm going to do it. You got to have that determination. They counting on you. They said you quit fearing the unknown. They have always been a part of you. You fearing yourself. Some of y'all afraid of your own power. 
Some of y'all are seizing the opportunity. It's like y'all notice y'all got the key around y'all neck. Y'all take it off and y'all open the door. As soon as y'all hear a bada boom, bada bing, y'all be like, oh, no, I'm scared. Or as soon as you hear something or something move, that's your ancestors playing tricks on you. They play tricks on you when they were alive. They're going to play tricks on you when they deceased. They doing that to get your attention. Spirit is saying, just, just open the damn door. That's what I'm hearing. There's a blessing behind the door. And y'all holding up the progress. Y'all procrastinating. Y'all holding up y'all blessings that y'all asking for. Someone's asking for marriage. Y'all been with this dude for a long time and y'all asking y'all ancestors or praying that he marry you? Well, you won't open the damn door. So you're not going to get married. Spirit is saying take that leap of faith. This is a blessing opportunity. Y'all about to get y'all bountiful blessing. Spirit is saying. Whoever's struggling in school, you need to concentrate. Drink some peppermint tea or some Camille, Camille tea. I'm hearing uh, listen to some soft music. Play some, um, not play, burn some incense. Lavender incense, I'm hearing. It's going to help you with the anxiety and relax your mind. And call forth Archangel Gabriel to help you. You need to release that stress and tension. You know the answers. Just stop doubting yourself, second-guessing yourself. You got this, Spirit is saying. You're going to pass the test. You're overdoing it. You're overthinking it, I'm hearing. Relax. Let it go. Too much stress. Too much tension. Some of y'all feeling rejected. reason why you're feeling rejected is because these low vibrational people are no longer vibrating on your frequency. You're moving higher. You're growing. They can't go where you're going. Spirit is saying, quit trying to take everybody with you. You can't. A lot of y'all still fucking with the ego. Y'all be like, well, spirit told me this and spirit said that wasn't me. That was your fucking ego. A lot of y'all need to determine which one is ego, which one is spirit. Some of y'all need to be more prideful of your spiritual journey. Some of y'all about to travel. I'm hearing world traveling. Y'all going to be meeting someone new. A new soulmate, like a soul brother and sister that's going to help you on this spiritual journey. Some of y'all going to meet a love. Some of y'all going to be meeting a new business partner that I'm hearing. Slow and steady. Everything works in divine timing. I am hearing. Someone has no faith anymore because you've been let down too much. Spirit is saying you can't. Focus on everybody. Everybody's not a bad egg. You fucking with people that you shouldn't fuck with. There's a lesson in it. Spirit is saying everything has a lesson in it. You have to understand the good things and the bad. You just can't expect good things. There's bad things too. And there's a lesson in it to tell you not to do it again. What messages do you have for the overall energy? Some of y'all, like I said, y'all need to release and let go because y'all like asking your team to close these doors. And it's like, I'm missing him. I'm missing her. You missing the, the comfort. You missing not being alone. But you don't miss what he or she did to you. Spirit said it's time to get over that. Some of y'all are going to get everything that you're asking for because your hard work is paying off. People are starting to recognize you. Someone like got love coming. It's coming in slow because you they want to know, are you ready to receive this love? Like I said, <laughs> y'all got the key around your neck. Y'all put it in. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, nope. Nope, I can't do this. Spirit is saying, stop saying what you can't do. Turn that can't to can. If you're not sure, just say, I can't do it yet. Stop speaking death over you, which is negativity. Open the fucking damn door, and then you might find a wedding ring or engagement ring because you're asking for this. Y'all asking for babies. Spirit is saying, open the damn door. Some of y'all need to be more shrewd, more cold-hearted, cold-blooded, I'm hearing. Because this gentleman or gentlewoman that's coming into your life needs you to be on your shit. They don't, they don't need no procrastinators. Because all you're going to do is help. They show me someone drowning and the lifeguard going to do it. The person's panicking because, oh my God, when you panic, 
you're going to bring the lifeguard down. Spirit is saying when you procrastinate and you asking for this demigod, demigoddess, or this soulmate, and you keep triggering back in the past, you drowning both of y'all. And that's not fucking fair to the other person. So you need to get your shit together. Some of y'all going to be celebrating something, like I said, over the holidays, November, December, New Year's is coming. Well, New Year's, a lot of y'all going to be celebrating a lot of shit. But love is coming. This is the one that's not going to end. This is coming from the divine. Some of y'all are getting money. Y'all got money coming around you because God is saying, well done, my child. Your patience is paying off. Everything is happening to you. You have the Knight of Wands. You got to step up on this creativity that I'm hearing. All the magical tools are in you. Start embracing your intuition, your discernment. Um, a lot of y'all are gifted as fuck and y'all just sitting there and y'all know it. Spirit is saying they about to light that fire under your ass. You have the Ten of Wands. Because you got these burdens. Like I said, the windshield wipers going like this. Instead of pulling over, cleaning this shit. Y'all just trying to see. Knowing y'all going to fuck up something. Y'all might as well just stop it and clean the damn windshield. And understand. Use your intuition. Your intuition is saying clean the fucking windshield. Instead of like, no, I can make it. I can make it. And you're going like this. Knowing damn well you can't. You're going to hit somebody and cause an accident. And then if you fuck around and kill somebody... Because you're going to feel down on yourself and spirit going to say, what did the fuck I told you to pull over and clean the damn window? So it's the same thing. They telling you this person is not good for you. Let it go. It's hindering you. Get to know yourself. Love yourself because he or she is coming and you need to um, heal yourself so you can appreciate this. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all business is going to be flourishing. You need to take that leap of faith. Y'all have sacrificed so much. Y'all give, 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 give. Spirit is saying stop giving everybody every damn thing because everybody's not grateful. They use you. If you give them one thing, they're going to lie and say, I need another. Knowing good and damn well, they still got that loaf of bread you gave them because they're so greedy. And because of your kind heart, Spirit is saying, eh, cut it out. Y'all two of cups, which is love, is coming. Though you got the star card, hope, keep the faith. You have the king of coins. Once I said, you have the queen of coins, the king of coins, the ace of coins. Money is all around you. Spirit is saying, continue to be patient. It's, it's working for you. They working as hard as they can. It's like you almost, it's like you at that nine of pentacles. And spirit is saying, this is Mr. Wilson. Take Mr. Wilson. He's going to give you that 10th coin to make you have that bountiful blessing. And you be like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it because you keep thinking about Dexter. You keep thinking about this and this. Should I left? Why did I leave my job? There's a reason why you left your job. They will take care of you. They have always take care of you. It might not be roof crits. It might not be everything you want. But trust me, you're not going to go hungry. You're not going to be in the dark. If if you really on ends in, they will not have somebody knock on your door and help you out. God take care of his own. Just be grateful. Continue to be grateful for everything that your team has done for you. Everything that God has done for you. There was a blessing at the end of the rainbow. He said, after every storm, there's a rainbow. And baby, your rainbow is coming. But y'all keep fucking doubting yourself. Success is all around you. Indecisive. Y'all need to know, just keep straight focus on the sparrow. Your eyes is on the sparrow and keep focusing on it. Stop regretting letting people go. There's a blessing behind it. You're worrying too fucking much. Spirit is saying, let go, let God. There's no failure nowhere around you. Stop feeling guilty for saying no. Stop feeling guilty for speaking the truth. First of all, you're too hard on your damn self and you need to forgive yourself. If y'all want an in-depth personal reading, like I said, I do love readings too. It's not on there, but, you know, just say if that's what you want, that's what you want. I'm still trying to work on my website, you know, but um, it's gone. I'm going to get her done. I'm going to get her done. But y'all be blessed. Namaste.